Hey, it's Chunk Man from VintageRock.com, and uh, we're in NAMM 2019, and yes, I'm still here, and yes, we're still <laughs> we here, dude. We're still here. Dude, a guy I have known for many, 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 many moons just got off the stage playing in the Legends of the Sunset Strip, and yes, you are, of course, a legend of someplace else. We don't even want to go there. This is Mitch Perry, guitar player at... Uh, just, man, you've played with so many different people. You play so much. Everywhere I go, there's Mitch is playing. You know, every Tuesday night, you see him at the Whiskey A Go-Go with the Ultimate Jam Night. You see him on Sundays uh, down in Hermosa Beach. But then you see him on the road everywhere with a variety of different bands. Dude, you were just like the, the consummate guitar player and just a great guy. Well, so. thank you. Thank you for saying How's that. How's that for an intro? That, that is a great intro. This guy is good at what he does. Well, you know. <laughs> dude, how does it feel to be playing in front of like like all your peers up here on the great big stage? Uh, it, it's it's it, this was awesome. This yeah. was a pleasure. Uh, I was honored to be asked, and uh, you know it's great that McNabb was there. You know, yeah. so we You're got that. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, we've done a few gigs together. So. Just a couple, yeah, one or two. <laughs> so you know, it was, it was a great time. Uh -huh. It's just, you know, like when you're when you're out there and you're playing something like that and you you spot like somebody, maybe a guy that you played in a band with 10 years ago at NAMM or something like that. If you're out there playing, it does it just make you stop and just go, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. I got to talk to him when I get out stage, you know? you know. Is that what you thought the mistakes were? I think they, exactly. That's what it was. You know, well, if there was mistakes, you cover them up very well. Um, Tell us, tell people about what you're doing these days. Uh, well, I've got a brand new uh, band together, We're the Mitch Perry Group, um, and it's got three incredible lead singers. And I didn't want to go with people that we've known all. Yeah, I wanted new people. They're not young, young new people. They're people my age, and. Uh, they're seriously, seriously talented, and uh, they're into the music I'm into. And it's it's like picture three dog nights vocals over uh, over humble pie. I like it already. When, when can I see it? Yeah, hey, we're gonna do our first gig. I mean, we're opening up for Vince Neil in Marathon, Florida, on February 17th. I should have uh, the first tracks that we're gonna put out mixed middle of next week wow. um, it, and when I said three singers three dog night it's not three male singers it's okay. uh, one male and two female singers and so I mean it, it's it's definitely it, a different direction it, which is awesome it, yeah you know I mean I wanted when I put the band together I want to, you know, I, I wanted to be able to play with bands like Government Mule and, and you know, that stuff. Right. Uh, it's in jazz. Bluesy, you know, rocky do, do, kind of Yeah, do like what I do. But I went, you know what? I want to make sure there are songs people can take away and remember. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we wrote some pretty strong material for it. And, you know, they're not typical arrangements, and they got places that when we play live, we'll be able to go to outer space and back, and, you know, we'll, we'll throw the final chorus in so you know it was part of the song, but sure, it, it's really Starts cool. here, goes over here for a while, comes yeah. back over here, and there you go, you yeah. know, so. Um, dude, uh, and then you said that sometime this spring there's a release for it, or? Uh, well, you know, we, we are going to just... Uh, we're putting the first couple of tracks out there. We've still got a lot of okay. business to sort out, uh -huh. but we don't want to wait to go out and no, play. No, just go out and play, man. You know, and like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll whet some people's appetites by uh, putting these tracks out ourselves next week. And, you know, we're, we'll be constantly in the studio when we're not, you know, working elsewhere. You know, I'm also touring with Sweet, so. Right. Tell us about that, how they, they resurrected the band, The Sweet. How's that going? Well, that happened a long time before I got there. That happened in 2008, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got asked uh, in 2014, and I, w I just went in to fill in for the guy they were using at the time. Mm -hmm. And never left <laughs> I mean and, a gig's and, and, a gig man well no but that that's what's great about it I, I love the songs from top to bottom there's not a, a bad song it's it's just so much fun playing with them yeah. and you know uh, Steve, Pri Steve, Steve Priest is a hero he's still there he, so. he is I, I mean uh, yeah, if I can be there <laughs> that long to help him out man yeah so. 
Well, there's a lot of these bands that, that you've been in. You were in uh, Edgar Winter for a while. You, uh, a lot of people first heard of Mitch in when he was in Macaulay Schenker Group, and uh, with Michael and uh, Michael Schenker and uh, Robin McCauley. And then when they had the hits, man, the radio hits yeah. that were playing on KNAC, and you could hear them everywhere. You know, like all you know, whatever. And how did that all come about to play with Michael Schenker? That's not something that just anybody can do. No, that, that was a that was a great story. Um, I had been in a band called Heaven before that. We did not on Heaven's Door way before Guns N' Roses right. and not after Bob Dylan but <laughs> right. um, you know we had done that and Michael was managed by the same management that we were we were with Lieber Krebs at the time and so he came by the studio and I play keyboards as well and I was playing keyboards on Knocking on Heaven's Door and so anyway uh, one day, I was hanging out with Pete Way, who's a friend, and we were at the Oakwoods, and I was in the swimming pool. Michael hears him in, over in the swimming pool and comes over. The, him and Robin had just gotten back from Europe to do all the overdubs on the record. And Michael comes over, he says, Mitchell, you know. I, I, uh, you are Mitch you, Perry. You, you got it. <laughs> he, he goes, uh, you know, we are looking for a guitar player, a keyboard player. You want to do it? And I go, no, I don't want to play rhythm all night. He says, oh, you do all this uh, over, the, you know, wacky stuff. Right. He goes, I think people want to hear it, but I don't do that. So as long as you don't sound like me, yeah. you can play. He stays in his same patented Michael Shanker stance all night, and you go and get wild. And he's a, yeah, that's brilliant. I mean, yeah. my favorite guitar players growing up were Jimmy Page and Michael Shanker. Well, that must dream come true, man. Yeah, so it was. But the great thing is, I'm in the pool, and he says, as a matter of fact, there's a solo that I think would suit that. He goes, what are you doing now? I said, swimming. <laughs> and he, he says, well, do you have a guitar nearby? And I go upstairs. He goes, well, go get it. And we literally, I went up, dried off, got the guitar, and rode to uh, the studio with Michael, which was Sound City. D Dave didn't put this in the movie, but wow. he should have. And I walk in, and, uh, you know, Robin McCauley, Andy Johns, and the manager from Germany, who I didn't know, were there. And none of them know me and Michael goes this is Mitch he's gonna play the solo on Give Me Your Love and they all look at Michael like he's lost his mind yeah. which and, a lot of people would do back then with him yeah, he's kind of crazy back yeah, then well they all disappear you know for about a half an hour right. I'm like oh well that was nice while it lasted but you know as you know yeah, uh, next I thing you know up, you're in the bin I did it and uh, yeah. played the solo on Give Me Your Love and then I did a few more things on the record and toured for a couple of years with them and it was a great experience absolutely well you know again those riffs right there with michael are just something especially being a hero of yours it's something you never forget let's fast forward to today these days now tuesday nights in hollywood the place to be is the whiskey a go-go and they have the ultimate jam night um tonight they're going to be doing the ultimate nam night over here at the hilton um Dude, tell us about your involvement in that. How did you get involved in playing with the Ultimate Jam Night with Chuck and the guys over there? Well, I've known Chuck, you know. I, Chuck Wright, we're yeah, talking about. Chuck Wright. You know, we've known each other since 1980. I mean, he followed me into Dubrow, which was Quiet Riot. You know, I, I kind... There was a guitar player named Greg Leon who p joined the band before I did, and then Kevin and I met, and... And uh, I ended up doing some gigs with them. And when I met Chuck, he came into the band just when I left Kevin to play with Glenn Hughes. Right. And so we've known each other since 1980. Fast forward to uh, about four years ago when he was doing the Lucky Strike, I guess they, you know, they started the Ultimate Jam Night with Gilby Clark. And, and after about three uh, shows, um, Gilby, I think, wanted to leave, and Chuck asked if I was up for doing it, and I said, of course, and four years later, we're still going strong, and... Uh, Packing them out every yeah. Tuesday, man. Oh, it's a blast, you know, I go, hey, you know, the door's in us, house bands at the whiskey. 
And many others, man. So, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, to keep it going for four years and pack the place every single Tuesday night, that says a lot, man. I mean, and you guys have mixed it up too. You've come up with some nights that are like a theme and some nights are not. And some nights like, you know, be yeah. celebrating like a famous musician's either death or legacy or whatever like that. And yeah, I you know. mean, Paul, Paul E.C., who's our front man, who, who we also snaked away uh, for sweet because he's so good. Yeah. I mean, he, he works way harder than I ever would dream of doing all that stuff. He's a busy guy. Yeah, no, I mean, they, they really put a lot of thought into that. And, uh, I mean, that's what keeps it interesting. If we were playing the same old songs every Tuesday night, people wouldn't be coming back the way they are after, you know, yep. after four years. Um, tonight's the big night here in uh, at NAM convention. And uh, the NAM, the big ultimate NAM night at the Hilton Hotel, which is completely sold out. Nobody will ever get into that thing. You never know, you know, I but not even well, not yet. Yeah. They're going to be, they're going to be stopping me at the door and saying they're over capacity. So I guess we're going to have to ride the coattails on whatever, you know, fire department or police department. We're going to have to get in with them, you know, so. There you go. Um, how many, what's your plan for tonight? Are you going to be strictly the house band or are you going to be? Oh, no, I, I, I'll be. You got your parts? I'll be in the house band. I'm playing with Carmine Apice and Tony Franklin. A couple of slouches, you know. Yeah, well, we did a tour of Japan in 94, so it yeah. will be nice to reunite and, uh, yeah, we're, we're playing some of my favorite stuff, so. Well, again, it's the beauty of the NAMM show, man. All your friends are collected together, and you get to play together, and you get to have fun and, you know, redo, like, either old or new stuff and just see what comes about. How many bands that, that either have you been in that, or that your friends have been in that have met at I, NAMM, you know? Yeah, I'll tell you a funny story. How many bands have you been in? I, you know, I... I toured with the Charlie Daniels band when I played with Edgar Winter. And, of all people. Yeah. And, and like about six or seven years later, I did another gig with them when I was playing with Asia. I mean, talk about weird bills. It's Charlie yeah. Daniels and Asia. Um, and Taz, the keyboard player, had just gotten a uh, Rolex for, from Charlie for being in the band for 40 years. He says, Mitch, look at this. Like, that is great. You know, I've been in 40 bands and I, I didn't get a, watch. Get a Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite band that he was ever in. Now, I got to tell you about this story. I'm in Hollywood one night with my buddy from Chicago, and we went to go see Mitch's band, who were the house band at the time at the Cat Club, which was a place that was next to the Whiskey A Go Go. And it was Mitch and Sean McNam, who just got off the stage with uh, Plan, and Ed Roth on keyboards. And Mitch is walking around, and he's looking frantic, and he's like, dude, he goes, you play drums, right? And I'm like, yeah, I play drums all life. He goes, you're playing tonight. And I'm like, huh? I was there just having a couple of beers with my buddy. I played with Mitch's band that night, and we rocked, the, we tore the roof off the he place. Killed, you killed it that night. I, I mean, it was a thrill it, it, for me. Then you, you were the cavalry. And yeah. you, you did a great job. Hi-yo, Silver. C Custer could have used you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was, it was such a great night for me. And the fact that I was probably playing with the best band that I've ever played in just for one night. And uh, well, I'll you, never forget it. And you, I always want to thank you for that, you dude. You rose to the occasion. So, and so. Uh, it was great. We got to do it again. We will definitely do it again. I'll have to come down. Uh, now, on Sundays, too, if you're local, too, in the, in the L.A. area, you place down at Hermosa Beach. Yeah. That's a cool place in the afternoon, right? It will. The evening, you know, we keep it uh, early enough that you can go to work on Monday mm -hmm. and we, you know, start late enough that you can hang out at the beach because it's beautiful there. Sure. So, you know, it's five to nine. Cool. Well, always a pleasure to talk to you, my friend. Again, it's like seeing my old brother. You know, I'm a family reunion every time I see you, dude. So it's always good to see you, brother. Thanks, man. So, again, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com. Go check out Mitch Perry at uh, MitchPerry.com. Yes, you got okay. it. So that's P-E-R-R-Y. So, for any of you guys that really do. But anyway, uh, Chunk Man, VintageRock.com, NAM 2019. Go to the ultimate NAM night tonight. Go see Mitch Rock out. <laughs>